evening, good afternoon, good morning, or wherever it is, whatever time it is out there for you. <laughs> oh boy, I am back. I am back to do some more Undertale. It has been an exhausting two weeks. It really has, but... Oh, now is the time to maybe unwind a bit and try and be nice. I am one hour ahead of you. Yep. It's... Yeah, I am actually, aren't I? Yeah. Oh. All right, so... We were a... Well, I say we. Uh, I was a bit of a meanie in Undertale last time, but this time I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be a good dragon and I'm going to play through the whole thing without, hopefully, doing anything bad to anyone. We'll see what happens, because it's all about being nice at the end of the day, isn't it? That is understanding it. Yeah. All right. Less faffing about, less tired sounding me. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. So, we're going to reset. We're going to reset. I'm going to see what happens. All right. Here we go. Name has already been chosen. Yep. Great. Shaking violently. Probably still has the jitters after the last playthrough that happened. Oh, all right. Here we go. Starts me off here. Okay. Alright. So, how has everyone been out there? Have you been well from back? Hope you've been well. I was ruined two weeks of progress on painting miniatures. Oh my god. This last two weeks can just get in the sea. It's just been awful. Uh, well, uh, you say almost, so I'm glad I guess it didn't happen. But, eh. Oh god, I've got to deal with flow Flowery? Whatever his name was. Oh! Hello! Are you alright? You must be so lost and confused. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day to see if anyone's fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. I will do my best to protect you during your time here. Come, I shall guide you. To the catacombs. Oh, so I guess I don't meet Flowery this time? I mean, okay. Fucked up vanishing in my miniatures, almost ruined them, and they lost color and became all foggy. Clean the excess. Oh, alright. Alright. Shadow of the ruins, it looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Haha! Overwritten. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Ah! <laughs> hey, Mel. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move the room to... <laughs> room! Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Good afternoon. How are you doing? We're going to be nice this time. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Chill. Ah, that's good. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labelled the ones that you need to flip. That's weird. Why didn't I meet Flowery this time? Press Z to read signs. Alright. Pretty much got this. Stay on the path. Alright. The only tip, everyone can be saved. Okay. This. Please press this switch, Toriel. Oh my god. Alright, the penny just dropped. She's called Toriel because she's the tutorial. She's teaching me how to play the game. Eh, yeah, clever. Yeah, I yeah, I just got it. Alright. Go on, press the switch on the left. Please press this switch too, Toriel. Okay. All right, clever. All right, I get it. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. It was nice doing Dragon Quest for Zatwin this morning. Yay! Good, good, good. I saw, I will admit, 
I was in my local uh, CEX shop. I saw a copy of Dragon Quest VIII on the shelf for the Nintendo DS, and I did think of Saturday Morning RPG. <laughs> this wish doesn't even work. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. This process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stop the time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. What final emblem on my end? Dra uh oh, dragon drama. <sighs> Dragons usually don't tend to get all dramatic, but. Uh, do you need some ideas for conversation topics? Well, I often start with a simple how do you do? You could ask them about their favourite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, shingles I guess? Shingles! Haha. <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. Alright. Right, let's try and get this right this time. You encountered the dummy. Um... Is it act? Dummy? Check. Uh, all right, fine. I'll try talking to the dummy. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You gained zero XP and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. Yeah, I'm very good. This is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Puzzle in this room. Hang on, this is different. There's a puzzle in this room. Oh. Alright. Oops, nope. Froggit attacks you. Um, act. Froggit. Check compliment threat. Uh, compliment. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> you won. Yeah, I did good. See, I can do good. What's that say? Oh, the western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay. Come on, Toriel, I need help. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. I've been listening to the soundtrack of this game probably almost all week. It is really, really nice. It also seem a little too dangerous for now. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. This is just weird. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? I wonder, can I just stay here? Tells me not to go anywhere. Can I literally not go anywhere? Let's see if she comes back. That would be kind of funny if she did. What's at the other end of the room? I wonder if anything appears. Uh oh. I saw you. I was looking between screens for a moment then, but I saw you. You are following me. I don't like it. No 
monsters in here, though. To talk to. Fine, I'll phone. I'll phone. Um, say hello. This is Toriel. If you only wanted to say hello, well then, hello. I hope that suffices. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hide behind the pillar? She comes back, she's like, where have you gone? I don't know. <laughs> okay, d does she actually... If she does... Well, I don't know if I should ask or not. Or if she should just wait and find out. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> chat, do let me know. Does she come back? Because if not, I don't want to waste my time here. Honestly, don't remember. <laughs> well, I can make my own game while I wait. How many times can I go around in a circle? I've already lost count. Also, does, to does Toriel actually come back? She tells you to wait here, but I don't know. Does she actually come back? I don't want to waste my time if she doesn't come back. She doesn't come back. All right. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Fair enough. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until... Ah, okay. Right, this one's important. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy. Ribbit. All right, so if I can't find a way to get them to... Oop. All right, get to try it out now. Act, um, some check, console, terrorize? Uh, hmm. How about just console? Halfway through your first word, Wimsom bursts into tears and runs away. Well, okay. <laughs> Ooh, candy. All right. Took a piece of candy. I took more. I feel like the scum of the earth. <laughs> Do you say anything different? Nope. The monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy. Okie doke. Alright, Froggit's come back. Compliment? Froggit didn't understand you, but was flattered anyway. Oh, you're still gonna attack me? Oop. Alright. Uh, Froggy seems reluctant to fight you. All right, now. Let's see. Spare. Okay. You won. You earn zero XP and two gold. Okay. Froggy, hop close. All right. Hi, frog. Push it deeply. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, blue skies. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, thank you very much for the resubscribe. Thank you very much. Uh, 
There we go. Two months. Being nice is good, but remember, you are only allowed to win every other month. <laughs> Whee! Alright, let's try that again. Now you know EXP and LV are in fact very bad. Yes. That, that does make me wonder, though. Oh, it's just as easy as that, huh? Oh man, did I do bad already by acting and trying to talk to this thing and then it was like, it ran away? Did I already do bad? I don't know. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do not tell me. It is butterscotch. Yes. <laughs> I had a feeling. And humans fall down here, strangely. I... I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This game knows, isn't it? It knows I've already played it. You did bad. You did bad by playing the game, probably. <laughs> Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Click. No. Okay. Yeah. Game knows what I did last time. It's in there. Ow. Oh. Oh. L M. Oh. Oh goodness me. How do I say that? <laughs> I I'm sorry. I'm so terrible with names. Thank you very much for the follow. It is very much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, ring. Hello. This is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is. But... Would you turn your nose up if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. <laughs> right, I'm going to try and pronounce that name. Sorry. Ellen O. Live, I think. <laughs> but thank you very much. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great week. Oh. I'm doing this again. Mercy. Bye. If I don't level up, and I don't get any gold... How am I going to progress? These fights are going to be extremely difficult, aren't they? Ring. Hello? You do not have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. Bye. I mean, I are getting gold. Hmm. So there's a lot of chat going on right now. I mean, you are getting gold. Am I getting gold? I missed it, sorry. It's... Alright, okay. <laughs> sorry, thanks for the correction. I should be lurking while cooking food, but I want to come and say hi, reach up to the dragon. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it, I really do. Thank you. Alright, let's see if I can get this puzzle straight away. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, just a bit off. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, hydrate. Okay. Mmm, hang on. Mmm, I have fruit juice today. No cider, just fruit juice. Oh, prayer frog, it's, uh, mercy. No, I can't spare yet. Act. Frog it A. Compliment. I hope it was splattered anyway. Okay. Frog it hops to and fro. Oop. Oh, I spare one at a time. Whoop. You're intimidated by Froggit's raw strength. <laughs> Only kidding. <laughs> uh, oh, act. Froggit into dumb one you stand. All right. Oh, going well so far. For, oh, you do get gold. All right. Gotcha. Nice. 
Right, getting the hang of this now. Uh, uh oh. Is it up? Oh, shoot. Okay. See, not killing is more fun. Yeah. I wonder how much of the game will actually change. Quite a bit, actually. Ooh. Act. Oh, I can just... Okay. <laughs> you tried. Froggy doesn't even seem to know why he's here. <laughs> Ironically, by being nice, there's probably going to be more combat, isn't there? Two gold. All right. Oops. Here's the talking rock, isn't it? Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay. Just for you, pumpkin. <laughs> hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty. How's this? No. That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Hmm? You want me to stay there? You're really giving me a workout. Thank you, Rock. I the mouse might one day leave it to home and get the cheese. Fills you with determination. Or isn't the cheese always stuck to the table? It's stuck to the table. <laughs> Sleepy ghost. This is Napster Bluke, isn't it? Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Uh. No? Oh, I have to. Okay. Are they gone yet? Snaps to Bluke. Um, act. Check, flirt, threat, cheer. Cheer? He gave Snaps to Bluke a patient smile. <laughs> Whoa. Ouch. Snaps to Bluke looks just a little bit better. You told Snaps to Bluke a little joke. <laughs> I'm feeling up to it right now. I'm jumping on some Valentine's Day chocolate a box from family. Oh, nice. Cheer again? Absolute wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Bluke. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Made himself a hat. Snaps yeah. He's eagerly awaits your response. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. <laughs> Bye. Spider bake sale. Ooh, yeah, I want the... I need 18G. Mm. I need money, don't I? Okay. <sighs> my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Right, I have to do... Okay, I have to do more combat, all right. Ooh, Luke's is back, all right. Check, pick on, don't pick on. Finally, someone gets it. Ouch, but you're still attacking me. Just gazing at you. Five gold. All right. So I have to keep doing that, I guess. 
Are encounters random? I don't actually know. Oh, I think they are. All right. Oh, Vegetoids is back. Almost good enough for the big sale. Mm-hmm. So fun fact, if you skip any dialogue before that frog is not there because he's already fed it with skipping dialogue. <laughs> nice. Act, check, talk, devour dinner. Uh, talk, I guess. Plants can't talk, dummy. <laughs> I wonder if I try sparing contains vitamin A. Oh. That basically does nothing. Alright. Mysterious smile act. Talk? Hmm. Dinner? You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Ooh. Oh. For gold. Ooh. Bake sale time. Yes. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a jug. I want that spider cider. Well, I should get some money for the donut, too. That's if I don't die. Hmm. Never had cider. Hmm. All right. I know how to act now. Gotcha. Oh. Cider good. Whoop. Again? Nope. Act. Oh, I think because I touched the green one, I think that lets me leave. Okay. What was this one? Leave 7G. Ooh, I've got just enough. Since I just called down and gave you a donut. Nice. Want you to eat your greens? Yeah, exactly. Oh. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Just one switch. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hi. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Napster Blook's down there. Oh. Thank you very much. An endless supply of gold, I think, as well. I'll say hi to Napster Blook. Fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. <laughs> Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. <laughs> Bye. I'll go say hi to everything else. Anything down here? Ooh, what's that? You found a faded ribbon. Hmm, alright. I do like my greens, I will admit. Oh, 
What was the first thing I'd eat on my plate was the greens. People in my house are cheering at hockey in the background being Canadian, eh? <laughs> Who's playing? Oh, act. Oh, I can already spare one of you. Right. Yum, cha-cha-cha. Oop. Okay. What's down here, Gorman? My house cheers for the Edmonton Ol Oilers. Oh. Can't say I've heard of them. Far door is not an exit, it simply marks rotation in perspective. Okay. I know the Toronto Raptors, but that's a completely different sport. Hi, Lukes. One gets it. All right. Yep. Nice. Read this. Press the blue switch. All right. Any sports and sports ball teams you like? Um, I went to the local soccer match. You would call it yesterday where they won where the local team won 2-1 two, two goals to one so that was alright um but eh, Toronto Raptors I pretty much follow when it comes to basketball uh other sports eh, I'm, I'm open to other things I don't really watch that much of it uh act oh yeah Oh, there's going to be two of them now. Whoop. The East, South, North. <laughs> yep. Oh, there, well, oh yeah, there is Rugby League, where I also follow the local team. Um, the local team actually invented the sport. All the way back in the day. Gold. Yeah, if you know rugby league, the team, the Huddersfield Giants, uh, were, I think, probably the first. It was the spot was made here in the town, and um, yeah, that's how I follow that as well. Uh, oh, I need to read the sign. Don't I? Yep. I will eat my greens. Oh, God. Oh, I missed it. Ah! I'm hungry. Ouch. It smells like steamed carrots and peas. Nom. Nom. Oh, boy. Ooh, that was a close one. Bye. Uh, oh, yeah. Read the sign. Press the red switch, all right? Act. Talk. I don't care. Wow. Right, well, I'll get rid of the uh, get rid of the carrot first. Obey the overmind. Swing your arms, baby. Oh yeah, he just wanted to dance, didn't he? Yeah, bye. Yeah, it's a very interesting game, is this? Oh. Alright. 
Press the green switch? Yeah, that's this one, I think. Hi, Lukes. Bye, Lukes. Hmm. <laughs> I love it. Every monster has their own deal, like the bug only wants to dance by themselves. Yep. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a, mo a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. They were too intimidated to talk to her. Found the toy knife. I'm not going to be using that, am I? Oh yeah, what was that ribbon I got? Info. Faded ribbon. Armor DF3. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. Ah, I wonder if I can still equip defense items to stop myself taking so much damage. That should be alright. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? As long as you're not using the weapon, you're fine. I'll just put the weapon in the, uh, in the box. There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Ah, tidy house in the ruins. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight, thank you. Here, yeah, have another surprise. For this is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, Use me head, Pat. Is there something burning? Make yourself at home. Let's have a look around. It's you. That interest room under renovations. I wonder what's in there. Oh yeah, here are the jokes and the Regular old bucket of snails. <laughs> I will sleep. Hmm. Thanks, Toriel. I won't go down the steps. I won't be... I won't misbehave. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Um, when can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Um, uh, how to exit the ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. I'd like to go. I have to do something. Stay here. She's off. Oh, is this pie still too intimidating? Yep. I couldn't eat a whole pie. I'd give it a go, but I probably wouldn't be able to. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. 
one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Nope. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Nope. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Is there really? Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Like you have seen a ghost. Do you know something that I do not? No. That is impossible. Huh. I'm suspicious. Uh, act. Can we just talk about this? You thought about telling Toriel that you saw her die. Uh-oh. But that's creepy. Can you show mercy without fighting or running away? Oh, God. Uh. Ow. No. Ow. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Can you show mercy without running away? Oh no. Toriel looks through you. I'm trying. Ow! I'm trying not to be. Show mercy without running away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, if you hit me one more time, you're gonna you're gonna hurt me. Don't attack me! Trying to talk about this. Toriel's acting aloof. Attack or run away. No. What are you proving this way? I wonder what happens if I actually try and get hurt. <laughs> I'm tempted to try. Fight me or leave. Can it actually hit me? No, I don't think I can get hit anymore. Stop it. <laughs> I can't get hit. Stop looking at me that way. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Nope. Go away. Even when he's trying to be nice, he's trying to be no. <laughs> I'm trying to break the game, yeah. Okay, this isn't working, is it? Oh boy, hang on a sec. Uh, oh boy. Nightbot! Nightbot's being a pain, sorry. <laughs> Got, yeah, oh, <laughs> Auto mod wasn't the problem, it was it was nightbot that time. I keep trying to adjust it, but nothing ever seems to work out. You're looking sadder. I think I'm getting somewhere with this. I know you want to go home, but But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. 
I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please go upstairs. I actually don't think I can. <laughs> well, act. Do you want a donut? <laughs> Got a donut. We can talk about this over donuts and spider cider if you want. Oh, tutorial. Tutorial. <laughs> tutorial looks sad. Uh -huh. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. Give me a hug. Goodbye, my child. Tutorial is where a lot of people fail early on. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back now. And then she'll just lock me in my room forever. <laughs> she come back to reading a book? I messed up and killed her when I played the Kickstarter demo, alright. I mean... I did the same thing. And she knows about it. Well, the game knows, doesn't it? Oh, she's actually gone. Okay. Well, there we go. Did the nice thing. Yeah, how could you kill such a nice woman? Well, I didn't know. At the time, she was like, there is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. And I'm like, well, okay. No flower, no flowery again. But he is around, I've seen him. Title drop. <laughs> Oh yeah. It's been smashed like it was nothing. And fun fact, if you kill her and reload and save, Flowey calls you out on it? Really? Oh, hmm. I see. Hi, Sands. Before or something you turned around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. I'm 
my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him. I have an idea. Go through this gate. Yeah, go right through. My brother made the blast too wide to stop anyone. Like, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. I'll try to keep fun facts to stuff you will be past our applicable. If you get too obnoxious, let me know. Okay. What's up, bro? You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days, and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. But if a human comes through here, I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Mm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Okay. I've got a ton of work today. A ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans? Come on. You're smiling. I am. And I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Well, it sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ugh. <sighs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. You might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the hold up? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern with skeletons and horrible monsters. Well, you ought to get going. You might come back. Alright, I'm out of here. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. This sense is oddly soothing. <laughs> Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Mmm. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down. He's never seen you before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. <laughs> the convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Oh yes, all the fun things. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground, really. In? Yeah, sure. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. Oh, I wonder. You send the line back out. Can I phone Toriel? Uh oops. Cell. Dialing. Nobody picked up. Oh. Answer the phone. Nobody picked up. Fine. This is a box. You can put an item in or take it out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Alright, um, let's equip some things, shall we? Item. Faded ribbon. It was a faded ribbon. You equipped it, right? Okay. sure what that means. So stats, it has attack zero, defense zero, but it has three in brackets? I don't understand why it says three in brackets. Is it defense just like when I level up and the brackets is the item defense? I guess that's the way it is. I'm not sure. Use the box? Yeah, go on. There it is. All right. Hmm... Monster candy, let's see, spider cider, spider donut. You have no natural stats right now. Ah. Uh, let's put the toy knife away. Um, bandage? Hmm. 
I think we're fine for now. Yep. <gasps> Dragon! Dragon's back! Yay! Alright. Hi. Act. Snow Drake. Check. Snow Drake, attack 12, defense 7. This teen comedian fights to give to keep a captive audience. <clears throat> Chill out. Yep. Snow Drake realizes its own name is a pun and is freaking out. Uh joke. You make a bad ice pun. Haha, <laughs> nice try. Oh god. Yeah. You met this guy's dad, remember? He's a comedian. Yep. Snowkiss is assessing the crowd. Laugh. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs? Dad was wrong. Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. Yeah! I sped the dragon. Yay! And I got 12 gold out of it. Venus of that lamp. There. See? I can be good. I just have to keep getting in random encounters, then I get more money. Ice cap struts into view. Hi. Check. Ice cap. This team wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. I just love my hat, okay? Oop. about sending article of clothing. Um, hmm. Compliment. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Envious? Too bad. Whoa. Ice Cap also wants a hat for its nose. Um, well, I can't help you with that. We inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. <laughs> Make sure it's had still there. Um, ignore? Alright. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? My hat's up here. <laughs> Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at his hat. Steal? Tried to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. I knew it, thief! <laughs> Ouch. Hmm. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Whoa. Changing it up a bit. What a great hat, mine. Ouch. Tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. Stop weakened enough. Help! Fashion police! <laughs> you continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Ice Cap is desperate for attention. Bye. 13 gold. Any more things around here not want a piece of me? gold every time. Hmm. Interesting. Dragon's back. I make a bad ice pun. Hmm. 
<clears throat> Can I keep joking? Make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. Boo the snow drake. Is your flesh rotten as you? <laughs> ah. So what is a drake anyways? Um I've forgotten. <laughs> laugh. You laugh at Snow Drake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Yeah. Ouch. No, no hit. Joke. I make another joke. Nice try. Whoop. Cause I know what a wyvern is. Oh shoot, I'm getting it wrong now. <laughs> oh. Smells like a wet pillow. Better not snowflake out. Oh, I get it. Right, now he's made the joke. Smiling at his own bad joke. Okay, uh, laugh. See, laughs, dad was wrong. Okay, I get it now. Yeah. I, ironically, I think I'm going to be doing more grinding now. <laughs> he needs to chill out. Uh-huh. Fight you in cold blood. All right. You have good taste in jokes. Though I do wonder if there's a limit to the amount of people I can bump into. I remember Dragon Gathry or talking Dragon Mikhail hates wyverns and calls them inferior dragon ripoffs. I have a copy of that game in the front room that I've yet to play, but it seemed interesting. I finished the first game. My god, was that a grind. I ignore you, Ice Cap. So it dragged on. <laughs> yes. Oh, it did. Ouch. <laughs> Do I... I can spare you now because you made a bad pun. I won. I ignored Wolfen back and gained 13 gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Snowdrake is back. Check. My fave ice cereals? Frosted. Yeah. You get it, Wolfenback? I'm ignoring you. <laughs> you laugh at Snow Drake's pun. You have good taste. Yep. I lost my arrow keys for a second there. Hi, Doug. Ah. <laughs> That's what I get. I think as long as you do the random encounters on the way, you'll have enough money. Ah, ah, fair enough. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Sans! Oh my god, is that a human? And it looks so familiar... Oh, and it looks so familiar! Uh, I think it looks familiar. Oh. Okay. 
I'm excited for another little rock. Oh my god! Is is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! And Dine will! I'm gonna I'll be so popular! 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 Ahem! <clears throat> human! You shall not pass this area! I, the great papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then, then! I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare! <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep a nice socket out for you. Thanks, Sans. I know you won't let me down. Ah. Derg is back. Better not snowflake out. Ouch. I like a snowflake's pun. Thanks. You're all great. You're great too. As long as you don't hit me. There we go. Bye bye. Oh, what's this? I forgot. There's some narration on this cardboard box. Uh, you observe the well crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Absolutely no moving. Oh, it's Doggo. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I have to make sure it never moves again. What can I do to Doggo? <laughs> Pet. Jack. Doggo. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Pet doggo. What? I've been pet. Pat, 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 pot, pet, pot, pat, pet, pot. <laughs> doggo has been pet. Pet again. Where? Where's that coming from? Pat, pet, pot. <laughs> doggo has been pet. Pet doggo. There's no end to it. <laughs> Well, this is thorough. I still love voice acting in games I stream. This game wasn't was so much fun, yeah. Okay, that's enough. Or is it? Pet doggo. Okay, that's enough. Mm. 30 gold. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some drug treats for this. Hello? Is anyone there? No. <laughs> Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Big guy. Is that you? Come on. It's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. Whoever you are, knock it off. No. <laughs> Someone's been smoking dog trees. Okay. Is something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. <laughs> mm, excuse me. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red. So imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? Bit of fighting. Think about blue stop signs. I just realized that that text is all just in different colors to throw you off. Remember, 
blue stop signs. Thanks, Hans. I'll, I'll try my best. Is the wrong number song up here? Oh, nope. There's a, there a lesser dog up here. <laughs> Act. Wow, so much pet. It's a dog. Wields a stone dogger made of pomegranate. <laughs> oh, God. You're the one that stole my artifact, you little shit. Barely lift your hand unless the dog gets excited. <coughs> hmm, oh, excuse me. Oh, oh god. Oh god. How am I supposed to avoid that one? Unless the dog is barking excitedly. You lightly touch the dog. It's already overexcited. Pan pan. Ah, I see. Unless the dog is barking excitedly. Pet the dog, it raises its head up to meet your hand. Uh. <laughs> it's. it's growing. Pet. Pet the dog. It was a good dog. <clears throat> Excited noises. Lesser dog is overstimulated. You pet the dog, its excitement knows no bounds. Critical pet, dog excitement increased. You have to jump up to pet the dog. Motor, motor revving. Oh, you don't even pet it. It gets more excited. Plane takeoff. <laughs> so that dog that stole your artifact and is this attack, that's the annoying dog. There's also the avatar for the game creator. Oh, really? Nice. There is no way to stop this madness. Kettle whistle. But the dog enters the realm of the clouds. You call the dog, but it is too late. It cannot hear you. <clears throat> Far away by. Oh, it's coming back down. <laughs> Hi, doggo. <clears throat> you pet lesser dog. <laughs> How long is this gonna go on for? He's interrupting the dialogue box now. <laughs> it's possible that you may have a problem. <clears throat> oh, the, the tail is going supernova now. Unless the dog is lowering. I'm going to keep going. gonna go it's just a different pet instead is oh lesser dog is learning to read did that say lesser dog is unpetable but appreciates the attempt Lesser dog is learning to read. Lesser dog is unpetable but appreciates the attempt. It's still going though.
Unless the dog is whining because it can't see you. Is it going to come back up again? <clears throat> hmm. I think I've reached the end of this insanity. Oh, no, there, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Hello there. Perhaps mankind was not meant to pet this much. Hello there. It continues. <laughs> Unless the dog is questioning your choices. Longest battle in the game. <laughs> Lesser dog is beyond your reach. Lesser dog has no has gone to where no dog has gone before. <laughs> really? <laughs> Now I'm done. <laughs> 60 gold! <laughs> nice. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you will be so kind, traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Yes, thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. <clears throat> How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you. Doing all right. I have to take the snowman piece to the end of the game now. I almost did it on the last one, but I didn't quite manage it. Really, though? That human? Do I know that person? Do you not know? Do you know? Of course I know who I know. I wanted to know if you know. I know... <laughs> I know who I know as much as I know. I know who I know. You know? Oh ho! Speak of the devil! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sounds like fun, because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. What if I could just <laughs> hold this, please? Do I even have to follow the path? Okay, try now. Oh, oh there they <laughs> What if I get zapped too much? Does it take pity on me, I wonder? Incredible! 
You slippery snail! You solved it so easily! Too easily! I think you can also go around the top. Ah. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> he left the screen backwards. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't won anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. Oh, alright. Ooh, nice cream. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some nice cream? I have 235 gold already. Wow. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Um, sure. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. Ooh. <clears throat> Golf. Oh, sends us in. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fights? No, it's just 5G. Did I say 5G? I'm in 50G. Really? What about 5,000G? 550,000G? That's my final offer. Bye. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> Uh, right, let's try and get a hole in 500, shall we? Uh, go on, kick it. Nope. Down. There we go. And down. Oh, that was not the direction I wanted. Oh no, it's fading. No! Purple, even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of the ball. 2G, all right. <clears throat> Let's have a look around. Maybe there might be more things to pet. Oh, I can do it again. Didn't I get a different colored flag last time? Oh man, I messed that up. Ugh. Go! Get in the hole! Uh. That's your home! Go live in your home! Adam Sandler film reference! Go! No! Alright, fine, never mind. Uh. Oh, there's another one there. Can I just pick that up? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow de oh yeah, snow decahedron. up here again? I've forgotten. Oh yeah, his? Hers. I've got to be nice to those two doggos now, don't I? Smell danger rating. Oh yeah, snow smell, snowman white rating can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell puppy, blue rating, smell of ro rolling around. Weird smell humans, green rating, destroy all costs. Is that a joke because humans can't, uh, dogs can't see green? Isn't the only colour dogs could see blue? Blue and yellow. Maybe I'm making that up. I don't know. A British invented the sport, but I don't know. Well, you know the rest of the joke. <laughs> Human! I hope you're ready for... Sands! Where's the puzzle? It's right there. On the ground. There's no way they can get past this one. Well, oh, this voice acting is making my throat hurt. <laughs> All right. Sans? That didn't do anything. Whoops. I know I should have used this crossword. Oh, hydrate. Ah, hydrate. Good idea. Mmm. Thank you. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. <laughs> In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Dude, that 
easy peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable! Human, solve this dispute! Which is harder, jumble or crossword? I answered jumble last time. <clears throat> hmm. I kind of want to answer crossword just to see what he says. I am going to choose crossword. You two are weird! Crosswords are so easy! It's the same solution, every time! I just fill in all the boxes in with the letter Z! Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore! <laughs> and he's gone. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumbled trying to solve the horoscope. <clears throat> Oh yeah, the, the spaghetti. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, this took to the table. Oh, a note. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Fairly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. Unplug microwave, all the settings say spaghetti. Thank you very much. Oh, gotta do the squeak. Warning. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Dog marriage, all right. Oh, all right. Uh, Ice Cap and Snow Drake confront you, sighing. Jerry, act. Alright, I'm gonna ignore you. It looks annoyed. Shh, I'm thinking, guys. Nice to meet you. Oh, wow, this is gonna be tough. Ooh. Oh, it's not that bad. Snow Drake is assessing the crowd. Um, alright, well. Laugh. Thanks, you're all great. Bye, Doug. Why are you doing this? What a fail. Whoop. Jerry's a jerk, he is a jerk. Just is about covering his nose, ugh. Better a hatter than a hater. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Wi Fi here sucks. It smells like Jerry. Check. Everyone knows Jerry. Makes attacks two seconds longer. Huh? Did they ditch me? Some friends. Speaking of ditch. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. <laughs> you won. <laughs> Didn't I find a doggo in the snow last time? Anything on these rocks? Hmm. Nope. Oh, I've got to save up money for that mystery key again, don't I? And I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to find out what that key is used for. I'm determined. I'm full of determination. <laughs> Anything else? But Tom is okay. Tom is okay. Uh-oh. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Dog Amy Dog Aressa. <laughs> the smell is from the flying burgers. Mmm. Check. Pet. Be sniff. Roll around. Pet. 
Dogs are too suspicious of your smell. Pause off, you smelly human. That's not your husband, okay? Oh, I've got to avoid this? Ouch. Dogs are saying sickly sweet things to each other. Okay, well, fine. Maybe if I roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Let's kick human tail. Do humans have tails? Whoa. The dogs may want to re-smell you. you. Sniff? The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Uh, pet. You pet dog, Amy. Wow, pet by another pup? Well, don't leave me out. Ooh, that was a bit delayed. The dogs think you might be a lost puppy. Uh, pet the dog, Aressa. The dog that pets dogs? Amazing. Dogs' minds have been expanded. Yeah, there we go. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened for us. Thanks, weird puppy. <laughs> what? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about this spaghetti? I ate it. Really? Wowee! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Human! Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Boom. <laughs> Done. Wow! You solved it! And you did it all without my help? Incredible! I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me, the puzzle master. <laughs> be really good at puzzles, huh? I mean, it's impossible for you to have seen this one before. Yeah. Impossible. Right? Oh boy. Hi, Zap! That was a nice dragon playthrough going. Nice dragon playthrough is going alright, thank you. I got some old school points and click adventure game for you to solve some of their puzzles. Uh oh. Oh god, it's this. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Oh, Dr. Alphys! You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. 
They will electrocute you. The green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them. It's with you. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Of course. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready! All right, fine. What you got for me? Mm. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Actually, that's spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, make sure he'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working. That looks like Metaton, doesn't it? If you play the Dr. Layton games, you can solve puzzles in an awesome top hat. Imagine it, drag him with a top hat. <gasps> that sounds like something I gotta try. Whoa! What has gone on here? <laughs> it's the broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. It's the broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. It's the broken head of a snow dog. This is a result of rampant petting. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think so. On the floor inside is a box of pomer raisins. Ah, uh, I see. Petting not even once. <laughs> There's a camera behind the sentry station. Wow, that dog certainly got busy while I was... Oh, who's that? Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. Wasn't there just a pile of snow here before? I guess Doggo got so excited that... Oh, okay. Fair enough. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until... It was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Oh, we got this. What's down here? Oh. It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. Mm. This is where I get a snow hat, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. What's up? Say, are you following me? Ah. Whoa, what are you? Gift Trot confronts you. Check. Some teens decorated it as a prank. Don't put any more on me. Whoa. Ouch. Gift shot laments its lack of hands. Gift? Gift shot refuses your gift. How do I know it's not a trick? I 
eyes me with suspicion. Uh, undecorate. You remove the stripped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. That's a little better. It's always a trick. <laughs> Gift try is slightly less irritated. Okay. Remove the childhood photograph of Snowdrake and his parent. That's a little better. Ouch. You remove the box of non-dog related raisins. A weight has been lifted. Gift shop's problems have been taken away. Yay. Yeah. There's the house. Do we ever visit that house? I don't know. Oh, maybe this door's open now. It's a door. Nope. I still think that mystery key's for this door. Can't fall down, can I? Nope. Sure do like to exercise. Mm. Oh, sands. Oh. oh, another one. All right. I'm trying to help. Don't hit. I remove a small confused dog. Snow puff time. This is a snow puff. What a tiny dog house. Woof. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. One of these snow puffs has got money in it. Eh? There's Study G inside. Hi. <laughs> Forgot this song. Oh! Yeah, this song was on the soundtrack. This is just a barky remix of the battle theme, which I thought was kind of neat. Alright. Check. Alright, fine, check. Greater dog. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Whoa. Bad dog. Watching you intently. Um. Beckon? You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Oh no. Uh. Pet. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it. Is pet you by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Not getting me. You're patting the ground with its front paws. Uh, alright, how about. Alright, you wanna play? You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greta Dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now Dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Greta Dog wants some TLC. Alright. Pet then? As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow. But you still haven't pet enough. And more pets are required. Pet capacity is 
Pet decisively. Pet capacity increases, uh, reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its leg hanging in the air. Oh. Greater dog is contented. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, dog. <gasps> Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The gauntlet of deadly terror! <laughs> when I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. The only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because yeah, I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have they been feeding you? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you some advice about fighting my brother. Don't, Capiche. <laughs> message, message understood. Ah, Snowden. Welcome to Snowden Town. I guess Tiny Dog is better than Smelly Cat, maybe. Uh, oh, I would definitely say so. Also, looking forward to next week getting my new chair. Oh, certainly. Ah, oh, the chair. Right. Sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Yeah. That's good advice. Good thing you've never fought him before. No. No. Nothing ever happened. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Uh, say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowdin. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do? You want to know what to do here in Snowdin? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. I think we've pretty much heard all this before. Uh, let's see. We'll buy. Hmm. I'm going to buy a bun. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll buy a a bicycle too. Hmm. Um. I'll also get. Nah, it should be fine. Um. Bye. Come again. What should I put in my box? Hmm. I will put. Put the bandage in there. Monster candy, ice cream, that'll do. Oh, there's, is there more people here now? That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Awful teens tormented the local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. 
So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Guess it was a good thing those teens to- oh. Guess it was a good thing that the teens tormented that monster? Oh, yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Always need a manly bandana. I'm sure it's perfectly practical for a dragon to wear a bandana. Preferably be made of flammable material. Hmm, yep. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. Oh. A skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. I get that now. Oh my god! <laughs> Who's these? Everyone's here! You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Hmm. <coughs> Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I asked. Want to try that again? Nope, okay. <laughs> Grubby said that we'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be... <laughs> I was literally about to say, is it losing? It appears to be losing. I don't remember these people here before. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so I'd be morose about it. <laughs> Let's play Monsters and Humans. You aren't going to make me be the human again, are you? Hey, they weren't there before. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. <laughs> oh, we've got to do the wrong number song, haven't we? Oh, I haven't phoned Toriel in a while. Is she, is she going to answer? Hmm. Oh, Mr. Wolf's here refilling the ocean, I guess. Yeah, well, last time someone said they were, they wasn't feeling safe in the area. I wonder why. Um, yeah, somebody should have probably looked into that at the time. Oh, the library. Yep. I look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Sands. You still haven't dealt with your mail, have you? It's locked. It's locked from the inside. Right. Oh, this is where Papyrus is, isn't it? That is... That is, that is a thing. Human, allow me to tell you some com about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pastel lover, and admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I think Moobot has made this town unsafe. <laughs> I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. 
I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful. Popular. Prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Hmm. Check Papyrus. He likes to say, Yeah. <laughs> He's cackling. Flirt? Insult? What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Oh, I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming quality. Maybe I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with... A, a, a date with me? <laughs> Let's date! Later, after I capture you! I was just thinking about what to... What to wear for date? Oh no! Let's date! Later, after I capture you! Hmm... How are going to smooch a skeleton this screen? I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Check. Mm. Alright. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date later after I capture you. Virus dabs Marina sauce behind its ear. So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Ow. <laughs> Lab Crow, thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh god, ouch. Oh, it made me blue. Okay. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Hmm. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later. All right. Ah. <laughs> MTT brand anime anime powder behind this here. <laughs> what? I'm not thinking about that date thing. I bet you're not. Aha. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Oh boy, there we go. I can almost taste my future popularity. Whoa! All right. <laughs> MTV brand beauty yogurt. Do you even have ears? Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Whoa, all right. Papyrus realizes here. <laughs> doesn't have ears. Papyrus! Unparalleled spaghetti spaghetti. I still don't know that word. Yep. Oh fudge. Papyrus is considering his options? There's a rave going on in chat. And Dine will be really proud of me. Yup. Ouch. Oh god. Viruses are trying hard to play it cool. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Nope. Ah, slowing down, are we? My brother will. Well, he won't change very much.
I'll have lots of admirers, but... Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Oh no. Uh. <laughs> Virus whispers. Someone likes you. Someone like you is really rare. Oh, wait a minute, I should just heal. What am I doing? Uh, I ate the monster candy, there we go. And dating might be kind of hard. Shoot. Uh. After you're captured and sent away? Oh. Oh. Uh, who cares? Give up! Give up! Or face my special attack. Oh. Yeah! Very soon I will use my special attack. Uh. Try it. You can bring a bone attack. Alright. Not too long, and I will use that special attack. This is your last chance before my special attack. I think I'm good. Virus prepares a non-bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. Behold, my special attack. Oh yeah, what the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Well. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, it's clear you can't <laughs> defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. There we go. No! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. And Dan's gonna be so disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. What a loser. Uh, go on then, let's be friends. Really? Y you want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee! We haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical ceiling trap. 
trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with, a power, with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home, being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> and he's off. Alright, let's go see what he wants. I'm gonna save it first, though. Well, there we go. I was nice to Papyrus. Oh, he's, he was right there, I think. I am going to save, though. Skeleton smoosh. <laughs> Is he watching me? Yeah, he's watching me. I'm going to switch over to my laptop, then I'm going to head to bed as I watch from there. Okie doke. So, you came back to have a date with me? You must really be serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Grillbies, I guess? Oh. My house! Okay. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> He's covered in sprinkles. Oh. Oh, that's the kitchen. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please. Peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty pack of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. <laughs> Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. <laughs> Forget it. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. I touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. I find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got twenty. I got twenty gold. Nice. It's a saggy old couch. What's the book? It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yeah, sure. Why not? Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. We decide to stop. <laughs> it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Uh, no. Welcome to Scenic, my house. Enjoy and take your time. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside. Not yet. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. <laughs> the door is locked. 
Sans? Alright, let's go in then. Let's go inside. Mm. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away. Whoa! <laughs> Harp slums to see atop the atomic mountain. <laughs> Hello, Fear the Wood Crawlers too. Thank you very much for the f for the five bits. Wow, thank you, thank you very much. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. From a d oh, from a d ah, from a d double digit follower account. Oh, Blue Sky gifted Malice a subscription. Oh, thank you very much, Blue. That's that's much appreciated. Thank you. Of course. Fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending my bad puns in goofy font. <laughs> the computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. What's in there? There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Yes. Gloves are hung up neatly inside. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. <laughs> that's another... That's next book's Whoa. another one of my favorites. Oh. Oh, you guys, my roast is ruined, but I put a picture of Superintendent Chambers to disguise it as my own cooking. Delightfully unethereal <laughs> paper could seem more. Well, thank, thank you for the five bits again. <laughs> thank you very much. Peekaboo with a fluffy bunny. The ending always gets me. What's going on? Isn't that a f isn't that flag Nito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from the skeletons. <laughs> Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. <laughs> that's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long hallway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Hmm, yeah. Okay, dating start. Uh-oh. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for the dating hood. <laughs> Wowie! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. I shall be... Good evening. Hope you go home safely. Ahem. Human. I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Uh, yes. R really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. You did get home. Nice. Uh, what's he going to put on? Wait a second. Wear clothing? That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No. Your dating power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. 
I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment? However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Moving in spec with Z, all right. Hmm. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. It has to be the hat. My hat? My hat? My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? That looks like spaghetti. Spaghetti? That's what you're thinking, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Okay, you got me. Right? But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti. Finally aged in an oaken cask. I'm cracking up here. This is so funny. <laughs> Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I'm going to eat it. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. By extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah, uh. No! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you... I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. I would be a tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was a, that was amazing. <laughs> oh boy, where did he go? Look in the closet. I bet is he hiding in here? Nope. He's he's gone. He's left. Hang on, I can call him. You're in my house. Good choice. Though I guess it's technically Sam's house too. But I prefer not to discuss his part of it. His room is... it's like another world. A world where they don't know how to vacuum. <laughs> oh, 
Ugh. Well, that, <laughs> that was fun. Did I visit the trash can? I did visit the trash can. I got told I could visit it any time. Visited the trash can. Yeah. I'm visiting it several times. Ugh. Papyrus is kind of as real as it gets. Mm hmm. Oh, I wonder if that book's missing. Oh, so Son Goku 4578. Hi, for the first time chat. How are you doing? It's a school report about monster funerals. Technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old, kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. And their essence will live on in that thing. Am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if Toriel's going to pick up. Dialing? Nobody picked up. And it's a good thing nothing ever bad to happen to Papyrus, eh? Yeah, nothing bad ever happened to Papyrus at all. The red book sounds like something Sans would write. <laughs> All right. Is the store open yet? Oh. Oh. Oh, hang on a minute. I was about to say, maybe that's the mystery key, but it's locked from the inside. Hmm. So I guess not. Well, Papyrus is happy, at least. Oh, Sans is there. Hi. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> this is the echo flower. Oh yeah, it repeats the last thing I heard over and over. If someone could kill Papyrus, it would certainly be a bad time. Yeah, it would. It would be a very bad time. Yeah. What? Have you seen a guy with two jobs before? Unfortunately, two jobs means twice as many legal to required breaks. I'm gonna be obvious and gonna come. Yeah, go on then. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. That shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hey, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. I must be thinking of brunch. Yeah, yeah get comfy. Oops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes we do put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Mm, oh, what do I want? I want, uh, I want burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Probably we'll have a double order of burg. <laughs> I want burger. So, what do you think? Oh, my brother. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. By that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Hmm. Okay. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. Cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Hmm. Whoops. Eh, uh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard. He begged her to be led in. Let him be in. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Talking flower? Oh. I'll tell you.
you than the echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the virus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one is around, the flower appears and whispers things to it. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Hmm. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Um. 10,000 gold for a burger? Um. No, just kidding. Will be. Put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> well. Philby says that your food is probably cold by now. <laughs> Ooh, does anyone have anything else new to say? Huh. Since when did you and Sans become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. <laughs> Same. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds us scraps of food under the table. And then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults. We can handle it. I was hoping Sans came in to give me a pat on the head. Interloper. Sansy, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. Sans is interesting. He has told me about all kinds of incredible foods. But... Despite his knowledge, he always orders the best burger off the menu. The capital is getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local, local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. Oh, I never talked to you either. Sans is a sentry, but I don't let his title make you think he does anything. But don't let his title make you think he does anything. Everyone knows he sits around in the forest reading car magazines. Sans is the most regular regular of all. He hasn't been showing up as much recently, though. No, because he's always hanging around making jokes. Alright. On we go, I guess. Well, this is definitely a very different game if you... Uh... Don't play it the way that I thought you played it originally. Uh, save again, I guess. Yeah. Oh, here's the box hater. Why would you, though? We don't talk about last week. Mm -mm. Nope, don't talk about last week at all. Uh, hope I am well. I am well. My throat hurts now, though, because of all the talking. Use the box? Yes. Mm. Oh, go on then. I'll take the ice cream. Why not? Hydrate. Ooh, good idea. Yeah. <coughs> 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 Uh, 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 thank you. Oh, what the flowers say. There's always something behind that rushing water. <laughs> Gaddy. <laughs> oh, wait, it was the... Oh, God, don't have a rock drop on my head. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Let's take awful snapshots of rocks that land on people's heads. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the tutu. Sure. Uh, hi, Undyne. I, I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? 
yes, of, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. I tried going back. Look at your level 99, dragon. You can take a gem to the head. <laughs> Oh yeah, you. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What do you do to get her attention? Ha <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. No arms. Feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. This is gonna be interesting. Before Bridge sees a line in the water, they will sprout. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, this seahorse has a lot of HP. Horsepower. All of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Check all you want. How about I flex? Maybe I can flex just as good as you. You flex. Iron flex is twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest? Okay. Flex more. Yep. Iron is ready for your next flex. Alright. Flex harder. Iron flex is thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice. I won't lose though. Whoop. So gonna outflex you. He flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Hmm. I wonder. Do anything? Oh. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. There's a long leash sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Yes. You got the abandoned quiche. <laughs> it's just a bench. Secret! Nice. I thought it felt a bit odd, because there's a path down there, and I'm like, I can probably throw things that way. It works. Didn't Pyrus prepare? Yes! He did say he sans tried preparing a quiche. Oh, maybe that flower was Sans? I've got to read it in Sans' voice, though. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. There you go. Oh shoot, now I've got to do the things again. 
stay put, seeds. Oop. Hello! This is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a faded ribbon. Is that true? Are you wearing a faded ribbon? Um... Asking for a friend? Yes? So you are wearing a faded ribbon. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Hmm. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes into the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, a wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the seal. Ah, oh, wishing. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. But the king will prove that. Oh, Washua. Alright. Washua. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Scrub a dub dubs. Oop. Ouch. Ow! No! Smells like detergent now. Um. Joke? You tell a joke about a kid who slept in the soil. Washua's power's neutralized. No! That joke's too dirty. Oh, there we go. Washua is rinsing off a pizza. <laughs> Touch? You reach out. Washua rec recoils from your touch. Yuck! It's alright, I've got hand sanitizer. Wonders if tears are sanitary. About clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Okay. Oh, well, I couldn't get them. Go ahead, clean me. There we go. Well, she was looking for some clean good fun. All right. Get out of here. 25 gold. Nice. Oh, yeah. This said check wall, didn't it? Yeah, check wall. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. I wish my sister and I could see the real stars someday. Come on, sis, make a wish. It's weird that there are stairs here. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of an every, nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul... Ah! A horrible beast with unfathomable power to throw shinies. Thank you, Shobi. <laughs> it's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Oh yeah, this is the one-way trip, isn't it? Uh-oh. Oh, the chase sequence. All right. All right, let's see if I can avoid you this time. Out. 
给妹。I don't understand this bit. She seems to kill the child, but she doesn't. Yo, did you see that? And I'm just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I don't know. Am I not seeing that correctly? It looks like she has her spike straight through its eye. This cheese has been here so long. It's mag a magical crystal has grown around it. Oh, she just grabbed him. Oh, the way I saw it was like she had to sp just a spike through his eye. That's why I was so shocked the first time because I thought she killed him. Squeak. Knowing the mice might one day extract the cheese from the magical crystal. Yeah. Oh, Sans is here. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Hmm. Sure. Oops. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Oh. Oh, shoot! I accidentally pressed Z, and I can't look through it again. I'll give you a full read one. Thanks. Use the box. Now I'm good. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream is the frozen treat that warms your heart. No, just 25G. Yeah, sure. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. Thank you. Hmm, I'll take the card. Oh, oh shoot, all right, fine. Oh god, abandoned quiche. Um, I'm gonna read the description of that actually. What is that? Abandoned quiche heals 34 HP, a psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. Hmm. Um. Oh, was the old. Let me have a look at the old tutu. To armor defense. All right, I will equip that. Nice. Oh wait, I told Sans I was wearing a faded ribbon. Um, never mind. Oh, and I'll buy another one. Two bugs in the box are playing a three card game. Take the card? Yes. All games must end one day. You got the punch card. Okay. One card at a time, I take it. Oh, wait, no, now my box is full. Oops. <laughs> um, well, I've made a mess of this. How about I just eat an ice cream? Love yourself. I love you. Your HP was maxed out. Uh, 
take my other card, thank you. What is on the punch card? I'm going to read it. Punch card. Oh, battle item. Use to make punching attacks stronger in one battle. Use outside a battle to look at the card. Use outside a battle to look at the card. Please, pl oh God, please come back. That's not depressing at all. Have a wonderful day. Right, I've got f three punch cards. Hey, you have three punch cards. How about a redeeming them for some ice cream? It's free. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> got three cards and got an ice cream. Fine. Whatever. So, how are we all doing in chat? We all feeling we all feeling good? Oh, more flowers. I hear a passing conversation. So, you don't have any wishes to make? Nice relaxing Sunday. Yeah, nice. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. interested a pair of ballet shoes um I'll leave actually what am I carrying oh, I could take these and sell them couldn't I I think just sleepy as always no oh, I'm gonna stream some Final Fantasy 14 later do my wheelies okay Hello? This is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A faded ribbon. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. <laughs> sure is. Not looking forward to the next few days. It's going to get very cold. Like, oh god, minus 25 and snow hard. Ooh. Stay warm. Clean me. Ouch. There we go. I'm Canadian, it's my cold night. <laughs> yep. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. I heard one night it got down to minus 42. I can't imagine a temperature that cold. That is just like you don't go outside at all. Can I act? You wiggle your hips. Small, mold small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. My hometown was even colder. Ooh. One gold. What's that? The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Onion Sam. Hi, Onion Sam. Hey, there. Notice you were here. I'm Onion Tan. Onion Tan, you here? Oh 
Okie doke. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You'll love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favourite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city. And living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? And Diane's gonna fix everything. You hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. Yeah. Check, smile. How about smile? You smile. You asked to see Sharon smile too. Sharon gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Toot. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Oh. Okay, how about I... Come back? You hum a funky tune. Shiren follows your melody. Shiren seems much more comfortable singing along. Can I conduct? You wave your arms wildly. You are now vulnerable to electric attacks. Bye. <laughs> oh, no, oh, hang on a minute. I remember this bit. There's a dog. I thought two onions end first, though. Did you hear? You're back. I'll tell you a big secret. I'm starting a band, you hear? It's called the Red Hot Chibi Peppers. All I thought of is the name. And I don't play instruments or sing. Well, do you think we'll be popular? Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't know why onion hand cracks me up. Oh, did you hear? I got nothing else to talk about. No. No. I think there's a box ahead. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. Monch. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist even after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. Now it never will. Wait a minute, what's my item situation like? Hmm... Oh, can I remember the song without playing it? Uh, playing it on the thing? Uh, what was it? Play it. Yes, it was. No, it was. Oh, you're heading off. Okay. Bye-bye, Shelby. Have a good rest of the stream. I will do. Thank you very much. See you later.
Okay. Yeah. Bye bye, Shelby. Have a good evening. This thing. Yes, I'll take it. Carrying too many dogs. Oh, am I really? Well, how about I just go out of the room and then maybe use the dog here instead? Oh. Oh, the dog is gone. How convenient. Oh, heck. I wish I had more. Damn it. Oh, hang on a minute. I have an idea. Mm. Oh, the annoying dog is back. Well, John, how about I eat the ice cream? Right, now I've got space for it. Yep. No, I'm not. Mm-mm, that's not true. I can take this. All right. Instead of... How about instead of using the dog... Can I use Mia? No. Maybe Toriel can help me. What? The ringing is coming from inside your inventory. What? Maybe Papyrus can help me. Hmm. There's something annoying about this room. Uh, certainly is. That is one annoying dog. I'm confused. Alright, what happens if I call now? I'm suspicious. Alright, uh... Well, last time I used the dog. Maybe if I just drop the dog? You put the dog on the ground. Oh no! No! Damn it, I fell for it again. Fine. Heck. That's a nice tune. <clears throat> All right, off we go. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. I should be phoning Papyrus more. He has probably interesting things to say. Hmm, you're hanging out with a friend? Then maybe you shouldn't talk to me. You'll make them jealous. <laughs> Is Toriel not calling me because that dog has that phone? Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> so, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. They got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to edit her an innocent person. 
<clears throat> well, I'm pretty innocent, so she's probably still going to try and get me, though. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put your umbrella. Put up your umbrella and climb up on her shoulders. Yo, you aren't going to be able to climb with that umbrella. All right, fine. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. serene sound of a distant music box fills you with determination. <laughs> Alright, can I get through this without getting hit? Let's see. Oh boy, I forgot it gets much faster. Oh shoot, <laughs> almost. Hi. Bye. I still wonder who this person is that talks to me here. Sounds like he came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. That's a nice name. My name is someone. Waterfall hit. Flow from the ceiling. All right. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through. Fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination. I'm in the trash zone. Oh, you rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn weeds as a honk of despair. Beat up desktop computer inside is empty. Oh, the astronaut food was in here, wasn't it? There's no brand and no shines of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one? Yes. DPK's for an enemy. It's desperate claw marks over the edges. Hmm. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. <laughs> Too in intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, 
until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said? Horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Uh-oh. Mad dummy blocks the way. Hmm. Check. Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Futile. Okay, do I have to make sure he doesn't get hit now? Hmm. I'll defeat you and take your soul. Oops. Ow! You dummies. Watch the way you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you, forget I said anything about magic. Can I talk? You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I mean, if he hurts himself, it should be fine. Mm. I do he glares into, into a mirror and then turns to you with the same expression. Um, can we just talk about this? We talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Mm. Everything I want will be mine! Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. the name again Ugh. whatever mm. check because they're a ghost this attack will fail uh Um, hmm. Foolish. He's going to get so angry. Well, he's clearly mad, so... Yeah, I don't think he's interested in sparing me at all. Hey, guys. Dummies. Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures. You're fired. You're all being replaced. See my true power! Lying on people that aren't garbage. Ooh, just miss. Dummy bots, try again. Ooh, got him with all of them that time. No 
everyone is happy with conversation. Dummy Potts, you're awful. Final attack. No way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Oh yeah, doesn't it rain on this guy? I don't need no friends. I've got knives. Oh, I'm out of knives. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. <laughs> there we go. Forget it. I'm out of here. Sorry. I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no. You guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no. I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. I think that went well. Hey, my house is up here, in case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Oh, that's the duck way back. I don't want to do that. It's a weird house, is this? What? 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 It's... It's a living... <laughs> Alright. Save time. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. It's locked. Oh, maybe the mystery key for this house? I don't know. Oh. Huh? Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Uh, do you want to listen to some tunes or something? Computer's internet browser open to a music sharing forum. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yeah. You turn to the bite into the ghost sandwich. You face right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground. I feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Okay, follow my lead. Oh yeah, space is out, doesn't it? Here we go. You lie down. As long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up. I guess. <laughs> I don't just feel like ordinary garbage, I feel like space garbage. I'm good. Well, that was nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, snail racing. Awkward. I'm working right now. 
I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business. But our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Um, snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach far and strength, stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail, so snail of Sam Buell. I've been long overdue for a second house. This snail is counting dollar bills. Oh yeah, didn't I, didn't I make a snail catch on fire here before? <laughs> Oh there, I've got some neat junk for sale. Oh, there's the mm, there's the CT. I should buy some CT. Oh, carrying too much. Oh, I forgot I can just drop stuff, can't I? Um, what am I not using? Oh no, I could sell it, couldn't I? Hmm. Sell. Ha! I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. Don't be shy now. Hmm. I'll just drop it. Look at these ballet shoes, anyway. Oh, is this a different box? Nope. Oh boy, the pressures of having too much stuff. Oh, I'll take, I'll throw away the toy knife actually. What else can I get rid of? Tough glove? Don't need that. Threw it on the ground like the piece of trash it is. Um, hmm. Don't think I need the faded ribbon anymore either. Get rid of that. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Dog residue. Dog residue, dog shaped husk, dog shaped husk shed from a dog's ca dog's carapace. Okay, I don't know. Maybe the dog might residue might be coming useful for something. I can't believe I just said that. Um, that'll be all right. I'll buy stuff. I'll buy yeah, CT. Crab apple, yes. That'll do for me. Oh, there's the boat. The boat transport back. Okay. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Anything hidden? Oh, but this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. That's kind of sad. Oh yeah, Tem Village is just ahead, isn't it? I might save it there and uh, call it a night for tonight. Special enemy Temmy appears here to defeat you. All right, check. 
Temmy, rated 10 out of 10. Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Aw, oh, cute. Pet you. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oop. Temmy is trying to glomp you. <laughs> uh, flex? You flex it, Temmy. No, muscles are not cute. Oh, I have to disagree. <laughs> no. Just the two of us, huh? <laughs> Aaron. Aaron is ready for your next flex. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. I, I guess. Hoi! Welcome to Tem Village. <laughs> well, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it here for tonight. Because I am kind of getting rather tired and I have been streaming for about three and a half hours now. So that's going to be it from me. But uh, if you are still here, thank you very much for hanging out tonight. The, P the, the pacifist playthrough of this has been much more interesting than the, than the normal route. So, lesson has definitely been learned. But, um, yep. Gonna call it there for tonight. I'm not sure when I'll be back. It'll be probably next week. Um, if I maybe balance out my time a bit better than I have been, then I might be able to stream this midweek and uh, see what the good ending looks like. If I get it, I'm not sure. Sure, but uh, I'll see if anyone's around for for a, for a raid. Let's have a look. Anybody streaming? Oh yeah. Okay. Gonna do someone a raid. So please hang around and uh, give a give them a dragon raid message when you get there. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much, everyone. Take care, have a great week, and I will see you later. Bye-bye for now.